I'm out for a walk with housemates Blue and River. River's the white one on the inside. Whenever I'm walking two or more dogs together, I like to make sure that each dog is really, really solid as an individual before I add a second dog or a third dog or a fifth dog or a twelfth dog um, to our walk. So I made sure that these two girls were rocking and rolling before I added their sister. Doing really nicely. River's a pushy little girl, so I want to make sure that she understood that she needs to stay behind my left leg and walk at my pace. Her ideal would be probably three feet in front of me pulling. Good job, River. Good job, Blue. Good girl. Really good with that. She's not scanning the horizon. She's focused on my leg and where I'm going. Good job, guys. Now, Miss Blue, you might notice, is wearing a muzzle. It's not because she's a mean dog. She's actually a very nice dog, really sweet. Uh, when she goes to the vet or the grooming salon, she gets a little nervous. So we want to teach her that when she wears a muzzle, it doesn't always mean bad things are going to happen. We're not always going to trim her nails. We're not always going to give her a shot or restrain her. Sometimes we might just put it on and go for a really nice walk. Or go hiking or go downtown, go do something fun together. So the muzzle is a preconditioned thing. We put it on, we go out and have fun. She's doing really well walking with it. It's her first walk that we've done together with the muzzle on. And she's not at all worried about it. She's not scratching at it. That's because we've done a little bit of work inside first. Put it on, have a treat, walk around, do some drills. Overall, really good job with these two girls. Proud of them. You can see I got nice loose leashes. I'm not holding them back. And River is walking behind my left leg. Her preference would be way up here, like I said. Right now she's following me. If I stop, they both stop and sit. Look to me for direction. River, good. Let's go. And off we go.